The White House Press Corps has served as the front line of the communication between the President and the American people for nearly 120 years. But with the election of Donald Trump, the relationship between the executive branch and the media assigned to cover it has turned downright ugly. Are you... That's enough. Put down the mic. That's well, I was enough. I ask one of the, the other folks. That's that. enough. You are a rude, terrible person. Bill, they, go ahead. Come on, Sarah. You're a parent. They hey, Brian, I know you want to get some more TV it's time, but that's that. not what the... You actually don't know much about me in terms of what I feel and what I don't. No one would know how nasty he's become better than award-winning journalist April Ryan, who served as a member of the White House Press Corps under three presidents, and the guy who plays one on TV. So I sat down with April Ryan to find out what it's like when the guy giving me the hard time at work... I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. ...is the most powerful man in the free world. What has been the biggest change for you during this administration? It is a sad day when a U.S. president does not stand by the Constitution, the First Amendment, freedom of the press. I've been here for 21 years. I was here for Monica. I was here for Katrina. I was here... Oh, I didn't know about Katrina. Clinton... No, got no. ...got blown by a girl called Katrina as well? But, you know... <laughs> and it's, you know, it's... A disappointment on your face. <laughs> you want to make a joke? Do you think the president likes you? Yeah, well, two years in, when he sees me, he goes like this. Really? <laughs> yes. He doesn't like me. It's so the same thing with April Ryan. I watch her get up. I mean, you talk about somebody that's a loser. He only told me that he wanted me to get the Congressional Black Caucus together. Mm -hmm. Are you going to include the Congressional Black Caucus and the Congressional Black Caucus? Well, Hispanic I would. Caucus? I tell you what, do you want to set up the meeting? Speak. Do you want to set up the meeting? No, no, no. I'm, Are they I'm, friends I'm, of I'm yours? Just, a report. No. just get all your black people together and get organized. How about shit. that? How about that? Do you think the term fake news is dangerous? Yes, very dangerous. Why? When people do not believe the press, it puts a target on our heads. And you've had to get security? Yes. And why did you have to get security? Death threats. Death threats, right. The NYPD bomb squad is inside our offices. A major piece of evidence in the case against the suspect charged today, this van. It was adorned with stickers and posters supporting President Trump and Democratic opponents with targets over their faces. In the era of Donald Trump, the media themselves have become part of the story. Like when April Ryan and former press secretary Sean Spicer went head to shaking head. Because at the end of the day, the let me answer. I understand. I okay, but you know what? You're asking me a question and I'm going to answer it, which is the president. I'm sorry. Please stop shaking your head again. Why were you shaking your head? And, and, and why was that a problem? I said, Sean, how are you going to try, try to change the optics of Russia? He said, well, if the president puts Russian salad dressing on his salad tonight, somehow that's a Russian connection. <laughs> that was so trite, and it was, it was it's trivializing. It's so close to Thousand Island. <laughs> <laughs> he had no right doing that. No administration should treat such hard-working reporters with such disrespect. So I flew to Washington, D.C. and went straight to the White House press briefing room to get some answers. Hey, hey. Ranger. What's Good up, to see man? you again, Good to see you again. Good, Jim. That's fine. Yeah, um, Jim. Yeah. With a J. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for Sean Spicer. Sean Spicer. Sean Spicer. A little Sean Spicer. A little late. Where the hell is Sean Spicer? There's only one person qualified to answer the question. And fortunately, it turns out he has a publicist and a lot of free time. Elected officials will turn to their press team and say, OK, here's the situation. What do you guys suggest? It's kind of the opposite in Trump world. He's telling you, here's the message I want to spin. Uh, here's what I want you guys to communicate on my behalf. What's the difference between lying and spinning? Lying is when it's a demonstrably false statement. And what's spin? I think spinning is putting your version on the truth. Could that be perceived as a lie, though? <laughs> and nobody was quite as good at weaving together a web of spins like Sean Spicer. Someone as despicable as Hitler, who didn't even sink to the to the to using chemical weapons. It's not a travel ban. The Extreme president bag. himself called it a ban. <laughs> I understand. Is what? he confused or are you confused? No, I'm not confused. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration. Period. They lie about size all the time. Size matters for them. Yeah, oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. He's a liar. And my personal favorite whopper to come out of this administration... With President Trump's consent, I released the following health information. The doctor claimed that Donald Trump weighed... 
Weight 239 pounds. I will give my entire <laughs> year's salary if Donald Trump stands on a scale and is within three pounds of what we said then. I don't spend it. This has kept me up days. Well, this is a problem. You need to go see a doctor. But not that doctor! That doctor I, doesn't know what he's well, doing. I, I think that's highly disrespectful. Let me tell you why I don't believe it, because the way... Because you've got eyes. You can visually yeah, see a big yeah. fat man. You've seen his ass. That's a big ass on a man. It's a large ass. But it doesn't matter if you're fatter. He's a man in his 70s. Who gives a, who gives a toss if he's a bit fat? Maybe his wife. I don't know. Oh, his wife. He, it's the last uh, person he's going to sleep with, please. Um, so you think if it's... Too, you, you don't have to agree with anything. Now stop shaking your head at me. <laughs> Do you think he's 235 pounds? I really don't spend a ton of time thinking about his weight. I don't spend a ton of time. I'm kind of obsessed with this. I'll tell you why it matters to me. Why lie about something but so f simple? Say, okay, but hold on. If it's so okay. easy to lie about a little thing, you can lie about big things. That's the thing that should be a home run. I'm a fatty. I eat chicken. Let's carry on. <laughs> he, okay. People don't like to be lied to from the highest office in the land because life and death comes out of that building, be it by the tongue or be it by pen. And that's why the fourth estate must always exist. Because without courageous journalists like April Ryan there to stand up on behalf of the American people against an administration that will lie about anything, there may be only one person left to ask the really hard questions. Have you ever seen him and Melania be affectionate to each other in private? Um. Yeah. Sure. <laughs>